before kidnapping. David woke up and felt hungry. He decided to go to the kitchen to have a little snack. Narrator, we'll tell you what to do, don't worry. He saw his mother. She didn't turn around, just said. David, honey, you can sleep. Oh, darling, just eat a candy. I left you a whole bowl on your nightstand, as always. Sweet dreams. Now go to bed. David went to bed and fell into a deep sleep. The book of the madness. David, I can already see that you are a very gifted young man. I think you will face no problem solving the puzzles I have prepared for you here. If you will, I'll let you play with my fear. It was getting cold anyway. I wanted to grab my snail blanket. Keeps me warm, keeps me safe. Alright. Another kid, a girl. Her name is Lydia. I tried to take her with me, but this psycho already laid his dirty hands on her. I'm warning you be careful, be smart, play his stupid game so he won't suspect anything. Remember to look for my tapes, though. I'll leave you the screwdriver on the second floor in the drawer of the desk. I have to go find my next tape. I'll place crayons on the floor so you can easily find the right desk. This, this really is reminding me of that, um... That one movie. With the kid who gets kidnapped and the ghosts that are, like, leading him out.
Application to the newspaper contest. My name is Franklin. I would very much like to win a spear, which is the prize in your contest. I'm very fascinated by this weapon. I'm a biology teacher. I have a lot of artifacts at home and sculptures related to the sea. My dream is to give such a spear. I cannot find it anywhere. It is pointless. No one will ever even read it. Okay. Dear, I'm worried about our daughter. You keep saying that she needs an operation. Everything is fine with her. Please spare her at least. If you do this, I'll forget about what I found on the third floor. I'm going to work now. I'll be back later. I love you, Anna. Mm-hmm. 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 This feels suspicious. Leave me like it shouldn't be fair. Lydia, after returning from school, go directly to your room. Dad will, Dad will come for you. We invite you again to a meeting in the teacher's room. We need you at the meeting to decide on certain matters. Sincerely, the teaching staff. Crucial note that will be useful during my work, inspired by old Celtic and Germanic traditions. Mixing the brain with cement and shaping it into a form akin to small sphere not only provided the user with powers of dead relative, or in some cases enemy, but also provided an ample supply of sacred ammunition. Uh, it's a balloon. Um, pretty sure that's porn. The balloon pop? Oh, hi. Maybe we should just turn that off. Cool. Uh, you, you. He's doing something to that man again. And I don't know if I want to know what.
You don't just get a set up random wind blowing bullshits. Don't have a candle. I need a candle. There's my back. You can do it in the hallway. <laughs> backwards to give me a candle. Can I just take this light with me? How would you like me to proceed if I don't have a light? Eskimos have a special harpoon for killing seals. The shaft is about a meter long and is made of horn and iron. It ends with a blade stuck in the shaft. Sometimes it's made only of iron and copper. Only its end is not sharpened to make a hole in the seal's skin as small as possible. Below the blade, there are two wings bent inwards, which do not allow the animal to slip off the harpoon. Nice. Okay, so you might be important here. off the porn, please. Franklin, honey, I already you this spear, which you have been looking for for so long. I found it in Victor's antique shop. I hope you will be pleased. I know how much this fascinates you. Love, love you, Mom. Whales of oceans? Oceanum? Oceanum? Mm -hmm. 